What's happening, everybody? Absolutely nobody here once again with a, another unboxing and eventual review. I can't drink all this wine at once, so can't review it today, but I can unbox it. Um, if you don't know, Bright, Seller, Bright Sellers is a wine subscription box. Um, I found out about them here on YouTube. They've sponsored several videos. They did not sponsor this video. I bought this with my own money. Um, and yeah, I'm going to unbox it and I'm going to go through the bottles. And if I can, you know, try to look them up online and see how much it would cost me to go to a Spets or Total Wine or something like that and buy them individually. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's start the unboxing. All right, let's get into it. Let's open this bitch up. Oh, shit. There's a card that I cut a little bit. That's all right. It'll be all right. And another card. Let's see. Sit back, sit back and relax. Your day just got brighter. I like the packaging. It's nice. It's nice. They got margaritas that are bottled also that I've seen. There's this little envelope. It has the wine cards. That's actually that's that's awesome. <clears throat> so the six wines we got, it's got what they are, what they're called, what they're made with, yada yada yada. The flavor profiles, um, all stuff that you know is pretty cool to know. I'm no Soma sommelier, so you know I'm no wine expert. <laughs> You're not sommelier. You're not supposed to talk. Uh, <laughs> I'm no wine expert, uh, so this actually helps quite a bit. Um, you know, I'm the type of wine drinker who goes and buys a couple steaks and then buys a bottle of wine. Um, that's, you know, maybe a little more knowledgeable than the least knowledgeable, but definitely not the most. Uh, so that helps, uh, you know. So I'm not picking the wrong wines for the wrong foods or, you know, what people would do. Uh, you got some more pretty box on the inside over here. And this top thing where you say, learn, open the envelope, and use your wine cards to learn more about your personalized wine matches. Those guys. Uh, unbox your bottles, pour yourself a glass. Yeah. And rate. They want you to rate the wines. Uh, there is no right way to drink wine. That's good because I've been not doing it the wait. I guess I haven't been doing it the wrong way my whole life. Uh, what do we have? Ooh, a sticker sheet. Look at there. If you want to gift, gift, gift away your wines. <laughs> okay. Sticker sheet. I like it. Uh, good packaging. Got your, you know, packaging. Bottles so far are not broken. delicious maybe i don't know i haven't had it um yeah these are all ones i've never tried before and aside from filling out the little questionnaire i didn't like pick or choose or change any of these i just went with what they say because uh you know looking for something a little bit different than the regular red wines that i always buy with steak because that's pretty much what i always end up buying is red wine with steak whistling arrow 2022 i like that label that's a cool looking label simple simple all right let's open up the next three we're not opening but pop a bust them out the fulton fable Good looking bottle of wine there. I mean, they all look like good bottles of wine. They are they don't come in a bag or I guess they do come in a cardboard box, but <laughs> you don't drink them directly out of the cardboard box. So there's that. 
little bit nicer than your Franzi or Franzi or whatever it's called. And a, a tea. Yeah, I don't know Italian or French, so I don't know if it says California, but those words are not, not, not California. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say all of these things wrong. Uh, nothing else in there except for what I just a packing slip. Don't need packing slip. Put the stuff back in here. And yeah, we'll take a closer look. All right. Uh, so I've got the bottles priced out and the you know and the little description cards and everything for you. So I'm gonna go over how much each bottle would cost if you were to buy it individually, and then compare that to how much it costs uh, buying the actual subscription box. Um, now, when you buy your first box, they do have a discount, and it makes the first box seventy dollars for six bottles of wine, which brings each of these under 10 bucks. Um, which is, you know, about as cheap as you can find a decent bottle of wine for at the grocery store. So I'm not complaining too much about that. Uh, the first one I'm going to go over is this Chardonnay here. I am not going to even try to pronounce the names of these wines. It's not a language I speak, so I'm just going to let you read the label and decipher that for yourself. Uh, but this Chardonnay is a 2021 vintage. It has, it's a full, full and creamy with notes of lemon, banana, pineapple, and vanilla. Uh, it pairs with glazed donuts, pork loin, and cannelli beans. Uh, lunch dates with your loved ones. Lovely. It's a California wine. Uh, like I said, this is a 2021 vintage, and if you were to buy this bottle by itself from uh, Bright Sellers, it would cost you $25. The next one I'm going to go over is this Folk and Fable Cabernet Sauvignon. I can say Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm probably saying it wrong anyways. Uh, this Folk and Fable, it is a 2020 vintage. Uh, the card says this lush, juicy California Cabernet Spends three months aging in bourbon barrels, giving it a warm, toasty finish with notes of vanilla, caramel, and baking spices. Full bodied. Uh, it's got blackberry, plum, baking spices, and oak flavors in it. Uh, that all sounds terrific to me. Uh, I'm a big steak eater, so that sounds great. Uh, it's a full bodied red. It pairs well with uh, smoked chipotle cheddar, smoked sausage and peppers. Or DIY crafting afternoons. This is also a California wine. It looks like all of these are California wines. So nothing actually from France or Italy. Despite the fact that they all, most of them have French or Italian names. Uh, this one is 14.5% alcohol. Uh, and supposed to be served at room 10. Uh, 60, 65 degrees. Uh, the first one I didn't say it is 14.2%. And it's serve chill 55 50 to 55 degrees uh this next one i'm gonna do next next one i'm gonna do next is c what is this one <clears throat> this is the crypsis Crip yeah crypsis to not tan it whatever it is a 2021 um it is a full-bodied red wine i'm not familiar with a tanat or tannet or however you say it. I can't say that I've ever had one of these wines. Um, if I have, I surely don't remember it. But it does say that it's a 2020 vintage. I don't know if I said that or not. But it does say it is a dark yet utterly sippable. This tanat supports ripe fruit with subtle tannis. Tannis? Yeah. Ripe fruit with subtle tannis. I, I, I probably sound like an idiot here. I just, just <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. Uh, on the nose, when you smell it, the aroma. On the nose, find berries and baking spice. Then enjoy a palate of dark plum and a hint of oak. Sounds right up my alley. It is a 13.5% alcohol by volume, and this is a room temperature wine. 
60, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, this wine pairs with, there we go, pairs with uh, spiced mixed nuts, holiday roast and with cranberries. Yeah, but that is good. And listening to classic holiday tunes, I guess more of a wintery type wine, but this is summertime and this is Texas. We don't, we don't do wintery wines. Uh, the batch of cards have these cool little, like, tarot card looking things. That's kind of cool. Uh, this Pripsis Tenant, ten whatever, would run you $27 a bottle if you were to buy it individually. The next bottle is going to be this closest bottle to me. This is the Batik, 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 whatever. Uh, Chenin Blanc. Again, not my origin language. Uh, this is a light, crisp, and dry wine with notes of lime zest, kiwi, ginger, and dried flowers. Um, yeah, all of those things lime zest, kiwi, ginger, dried flowers. Uh, this is 11.5 percent alcohol by volume. It's a light bodied white wine. Uh, meant to be served chilled, 45 to 50, so a little bit cooler than this guy. Uh, it says it pairs well with garlic fries, tuna, chickpea, arugula salad, and a pitchment with friends. Also a California wine, which I said they are all are California wines. Uh, this batik would run you $24 if you were to buy it from Bright Cellars individually. And again, I... Didn't look terribly hard, but I had a hard time finding any of these bottles for sale at like Total Wine. Um, that's really the only other place I looked. I didn't look at Spets or anything, which, you know, may have been a mistake on my part, but we'll see. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is also the closest one to me again. This is the Living Essence Albarino. Albarino. I think that's, that's actually probably the closest I've gotten to pronouncing any of them right. Uh, this is a 2022 vintage. This is a California wine. It's a light-bodied white wine. 12.5% uh, alcohol by volume, which... No, that would make it the second lowest alcohol by volume. Not that that really matters. Um, it's meant to be served chilled 45 to 50 degrees, as most uh, white wines are. And it pairs well with seafood salad, chips and dips, or floating on the lake. I bet some ceviche would be nice. Uh, my dog Brenda is knocking on the door, but never mind. Don't don't worry about that, y'all. Uh, this is a fresh and it's fresh, silky, and zesty with notes of limes, bananas, cantaloupe, cantaloupe, and dried herbs. Uh, lime, banana, cantaloupe, papaya, herbs. That sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah. Living Essence, if you were to buy it from Bright Sellers on its own, would be a $24 bottle of wine. All right, we're still filming. That's good. I, I, I wasn't paying that much attention. And last... And hopefully not least, at least. It, last but not least. <laughs> Brenda, go lay down. Uh, last but not least is this Whistling Arrow Barbera. It is a 2022 vintage. It is juicy, full-bodied, and dry with notes of black carant, 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 black raspberry, seared meats, and wood smoke sounds amazing um yeah all of those flavors it's a full body red wine 14.6 14.6 percent alcohol by volume and it's meant to be served at 60, 60 to 65 degrees fahrenheit so room temperature uh roasted root vegetables with herbs so i'm sorry it pairs well with roasted root vegetables with herbs wood-fired pizza with sausage and pepper or playing games with friends at a picnic. Uh, also a California wine. All these warm climate, new world wines. Um, that doesn't matter at all to me, but I'm sure someone might care about that. Uh, the 
Whistling Arrow goes for $20 a bottle if you buy them individually from Bright Zone. So that brings all of these, if you would buy all of these, like this is that box individually at Bright Sellers, um, you know, not in a subscription box or something like that, you would theoret theoretically be paying $147 before tax or shipping. Uh, now, I'm sure that's not the case of how it actually works, but we're going to go with that because that's, you know, what you have to assume the price would be. Uh, this this is our first box. So this box costs us $70 um, out the door, like shipped to my house and everything was $76.14. Uh, Bring in, let me pull up my calculator real quick. Bring in the price per bottle to to twelve dollars and sixty nine cents per bottle. Um, yeah, I misspoke earlier when I said under ten dollars a bottle. But yeah, twelve sixty nine a bottle for the first bottle. Um, that's Pretty much half price. You're getting close to 50% off of most of these bottles. Uh, at $95, which is what the regular price for the box is, you're looking at, uh, that's not right, $95 divided by 6, 95 divided. I don't know what the hell my calculator is. Probably user error. Anyways, this is taking far too long. 95 divided by 6 is going to run you about 1583 a bottle. So you're still saving money, actually. Uh, do I think it's worth it? If you want these exact bottles of wine, you're saving, you know, 50 to 60 percent, or no, 40 to 50, 30 to 50 percent, something like that. Uh, you can probably, if you you know know what you're looking at and all that, you can probably find comparable bottles in stores like Aldi or something like that for less. Um, but if you're like me and you know you just know you like wine but you don't know a ton about it, this is a great situation or you know a, a great deal I would say because I. Get to try all these different types of wine. Uh, some types I've never tried before in my life. You know, I mean, I had like Sauvignon Blancs and stuff like that, but I've never had one of these Sheenan Blancs. Um, yeah, so I'm actually excited to try these. Um, I'm saying, um, um, um. Yeah, I'm excited to try these. We're actually going to cook up some chicken tonight and bust one of these guys out, and I'll let you know what I think. But until then, man, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on this. But yeah, do I think it's worth it? Do I think it's a good deal? Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I think you'd be pretty hard pressed to find comparable wines for the same amount of money. Um, it's probably doable, but I'm not going to do it. And in that sense, I do. I think it's it's actually a pretty legit and solid deal. Uh, I'm going to try the wines out. I'm not going to drink them all right now. No, 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 no. I'm not going to drink them all right now. I'm going to wait. I'm going to try them out, uh, pair them with foods, and let y'all know what I think. But what I think is somewhat ir irrelevant because I'm absolutely nobody. See y'all later. All right, y'all. Cooking dinner, making some food. Gonna start off with the Whistling Arrow. Um, it is a full-bodied red wine, uh, meant to be served at room temperature. It's to be paired with roasted root vegetables and herbs, uh, wood wood fire and pizza, sausage and peppers. Um, we're eating it with chicken, uh, but with uh root vegetables as sides, so it should pair pretty well. 
I'm going to go ahead and pop this open and do the first taste. Move that dirty glass to the side. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to pop this open. Uh, all the stuff here, it's actually a part of a wine set that we actually picked up at Sam's Club like last week. And I do have a second one. I'm going to do a whole unboxing and review of this uh, as I have used it quite a bit and I find it quite convenient. The first thing is first, I'll pop the foil. And that's this little thing he does and it makes a nice clean cut. Uh, it is a cork, it's not screw top or anything. And this is just a little aerator. Uh, let's air in through there so you don't have to let your wine sit out for, you know, whatever amount of time they tell you you're supposed to let your wine sit out for before you before you drink it. Um, I can't tell you if it actually works or not, but it looks cool. So this is my first taste. And my initial impressions. It definitely smells like a full bodied uh, bread. I definitely smell the black uh, raspberry and don't really get a, a smoky smell out of it. That smell good. I don't know if you can see the legs where it runs down here, but it seems to have pretty healthy legs, not too far apart, um, which should mean this is more of a sweeter wine than a dry wine, if I remember correctly. But again, I haven't worked at Olive Garden in years, and that's the extent of my wine knowledge. A toast to you. You can taste the wood smoke. You can definitely taste the raspberry. And I guess that black currant is the other flavor I'm tasting. I don't taste seared meat. But that's just me. And I'm absolutely nobody. <laughs> but I, overall, I do like this. Uh, it's, it's, it's good. Yeah, I think it would probably pair better with a steak than the... Um, Chicken dish we're pairing it with. I don't know what that is. Go away, fly. But good. And I like a red wine. So, first bottle, thumbs up.